Now, before we go ahead and find the scale factors, let's understand what do we mean by enlargement and scale diagram. Now, let's say I have a triangle right here, guys. Now, the enlargement of this triangle will look something like this. And this enlargement picture is what we call the scale diagram. All right, guys. And when we talk about scale diagrams, whether it's an enlargement or a reduction, one word that always comes into mind is the scale factor. Now, you guys might be asking, what do we mean by scale factor? A scale factor is the relationship between the matching sides from the original picture to the enlargement or the scale diagram. All right, guys. And of course, it comes with a formula. So the scale factor is the length of the enlargement in this case over the length of the original picture. All right, guys. Now let's take this formula and let's solve some questions. Now, if you take a look at question number one, right, guys? So the scale diagram is bigger than the original picture. So if it's bigger than the original picture, we know that it is an enlargement, right, guys? It is an enlargement. Now, in order for us to find the scale factor, of this enlargement so what we do as you remember the scale factor formula is equal to length of the scale diagram which i would like to call sd over the length of the original diagram right guys original diagram now let us take the length in this case so if you take a look at the length of the scale diagram now let's count how many boxes do we have so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so it is nine boxes over the original's length is one two three so which is equal to three therefore the scale factor for this is equal to three so what this means guys is that the scale diagram the enlargement has become three times bigger than its original picture all right guys now let's go to question number two here as we can see right here the scale diagram is bigger than its original picture so if it is bigger than its original picture we know that it is an enlargement now in order to find a scale factor again what we do is the length of the scale diagram SD over the length of original correct guys now let us take the width in this case so when I talk about length it can be any of its side but it should be the matching sides right guys so I am going to take the width of the scale diagram so let's say I have one two three four five six or so a scale diagram has six boxes over the original diagram as one two three four right guys four which is equal to three over two which is equal to 1.5 therefore the scale factor in this case is 1.5 so again what it means is the enlargement is 1.5 times than its original picture all right guys and that is how we find the scale factors from the original picture and the scale diagram now if you did enjoy this video do not forget to click on the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos until next time guys have a nice day